Hi, I'm Issa of Hode Cosplay, and today I'm going to show you how I made Jade's staff from Mortal Kombat 11. A couple of weeks ago, I got to meet Jade's voice actor, and I had so much fun cosplaying Jade. It was so long overdue with all the cosplays I've done. My biggest challenge with Jade was creating her dual-ended staff, which looked a lot like a lightsaber. I feel I came up with an affordable and practical way of creating your own staff that didn't require purchasing a really expensive Star Wars lightsaber. Um, I used parts that you could find at the dollar store and Home Depot. Here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need one inch diameter PVC pipe, half inch diameter PVC pipe, some plumbing coupling that you use to attach the PVC, and also some green acrylic tubes. The first step is to get some acetone and remove the print off the PVC pipe. This step is important because we're gonna lay vinyl over the pipe and we don't want the text to show. Next, I'm gonna show you how to make the coupling look like metal just using some stick and peel vinyl for cars. Before I wrap the coupling, I make sure to use 320 grit sandpaper to remove any bumps. Next, with a pre-measured strip of peel and stick vinyl, I slowly peel and stick the vinyl to the coupling. I do this really slowly to make sure there's no air bubbles. Please take your time. And what's great about it is that you can peel and reposition it if you make any mistakes. When you get to the end of wrapping, you can actually cut it with a very sharp X-Acto knife and it's good to go. Next, to get the top part of the coupling, I'm gonna cut a circle and paste it to the top. I'm gonna use a heat gun to shrink it to the coupling and we're gonna get the inside diameter and with that I'm gonna just take a sharp X-Acto knife and cut it into place. Now for the handle, I'm gonna be using some wood grain peel and stick vinyl, the same that you use for cars, it's usually used for the interiors and I'm literally doing the same thing on a bigger piece of pipe. Like I said, take your time, peel very slowly, try to avoid air bubbles. And like I said, if you make a mistake, you can peel it off and try again. With the 20 foot inch PVC pipe, as you can see, I had to cut two pieces of vinyl. Make sure to line up the grain so it looks all uniform. With a sharp box cutter, I just finish off the seams the same way I did with the coupling. Next, we're gonna work on the light saber part of the staff. I got some frosted window film that I'll be inserting inside the acrylic tube to diffuse the light. I love the frosted film inside the translucent tubes because it gives this beautiful texture and sheen even before you even light it up. Next, in order to balance light inside the acrylic tube, I'm actually using some reflective round circle. I'm gluing it with some just general adhesive just so it could balance light inside the tube and I put some green on top just to cover it. To finish off the tubes, I got these acrylic bottle caps. It just cleans it off and leaves it with a nice finish. Next, I'm gonna connect the green acrylic tube to the coupling. I did use some two-part epoxy just to seal it in place. As you can see, I made this staff into three parts, the two green acrylic tube parts and the middle staff that will be holding the actual LED lights. It makes it easy for travel. I kept the lighting super simple. I bought two $1 flashlights at the Dollar Tree and all I did is drop them into the middle staff. I first turned them on and dropped them in and they were bright enough to illuminate the whole staff as you can see. The trick is to put like a little stopper on the inside so it doesn't go all the way through. If you're feeling fancy, you can add details using polymer clay. I made some metal looking bugs using polymer clay painted with Rust-Oleum silver and added some Swarovski rhinestones. I really love how this staff came out. And I also added more of that aluminum vinyl to the staff 
this was actually a lot easier than I thought. There was no paint involved, so a little bit of adhesive and a little bit of resourcefulness. I really love how this prop came out. And I really hope today I helped you in creating your own lit up staff for Jade. I hope you enjoyed this project. Definitely subscribe to my channel, leave me a like. You can check me out on my Instagram where I'm always posting my current work in progress. My name is Ho Cosplay and see you next time.